There once was a fellow named Lewis who. What rhymes with Lewis? Ruiz. That's not a word. Ruiz. Mr. Ruiz. No. Yeah. No. I don't think it works. No. Okay. All let's, right. Let's just draw. Hey, Lewis structures. These are Lewis structures of covalent bonds, folks. Or covalent compounds. Yeah. Yeah. Probably compounds. We drew these uh, uh, earlier when we talked about uh, ionic bonds, and we draw electron dot structures. I think we called them. Those are actually Lewis structures as well, named after Mr. Lewis. And so we're going to be talking about Lewis structures here in our bonding five lesson. Okay. Bunch of words to copy down, and then we'll do lots of examples or several examples. Uh, single bond, double bond, triple bond. Probably should pause the video yep. and write these down. Okay, the key thing to understand with these bonds is that electrons are shared in pairs. Right, one bond is one pair. And a pair means two, two electrons. So when you see a bond, you might have seen this like, you know, I don't know, out in the world. C, C, H, you know, C, L. Each of these little bonds is actually uh, two, two electrons. electrons. When you have a double bond, for example, oxygen has a double bond, uh, these lines... Each one is a pair, so that's four, four electrons. electrons total. And then there's such a thing as a triple bond. Mm -hmm. So, for example, in the substance cyanide, again, we'll probably draw this at some point maybe as an example, that represents six electrons. So they always work in pairs. There's not, not never. Very, very rarely do you have an odd number of electrons that are shared. Yep. It does happen in very rare circumstances. And typically, if you've got something with odd numbers of electrons, it's explosive. It doesn't like to stay yeah. that way. So we have some more definitions, and then we'll get to the kind of stuff. So again, you should pause the video and write down these two um, definitions. So the Lewis structure that we're learning about right here is the um, symbolic representation um, that shows the um, structure of a particular molecule. Right, the, the valence electrons are indicated either as participating in a bond or as an unshared pair. In an unshared pair are electrons that are not participating in a bond. Right. They're very important, and we'll see about that very much so. uh, in a later podcast. Okay. All right. So now we're going to learn how to draw Lewis structures. Okay. Now to draw Lewis structures, there are five rules that you must apply. Hey, Again, guess what? Pause, pause. This and is the write pause these down. Video. Okay, so you've paused and written these down. So you're going to count the number, uh, place one bond for each connection, distribute on the outside first, extra electrons on the central, redistribute for double or triple bonds. So you're going to have these rules. We're going to just do these together yep. with several examples. So the okay. first example is H2. water. Now, for water, the first thing we've got to do is determine the number of valence electrons. Right. We've got two hydrogens and an oxygen. So if we go back and we look at this table of, of uh, valence, valence electrons. electrons, hydrogen right here has one valence electron. Okay. So and we have two of them. So that'll be two because there's one plus one. Right. Plus the value for oxygen. oxygen. And oxygen's value, if you look over here, is six. So, oops. Wrong direction. Guess which one we're doing next? Six. So okay. two and six is eight. Eight. So okay. we have think of it this way, ladies and gentlemen. You have eight electrons to spin. It's like a an account, if you will. Right. Now, you have to put one element in the center. Actually, and hydrogen will never go in the center. Yeah, hydrogen's on the outside. Always. So I'm gonna put hydrogen on the outside. Now notice I quickly went and I drew a bond. Now again, what's a bond represent? A pair of electrons. Two electrons. Right. So of my eight, I have spent four electrons. So I have four more. Now, is the hydrogen happy? It is. It only wants two. He only wants two. And so it has access to two with that, it's with that bond, bond right A there. bond yeah. has this two. So a hydrogen is happy. So I have four more to spin. So the rest of them go on the central atom, like the rules say. Mm -hmm. So I put one, one two, two, three, four. And we distribute them in pairs. You, yeah, always in pairs. Good call. Now, important thing. Now we ask, is oxygen happy? Let's count. Uh, two, two, four, four six, six, eight. It's happy. It's happy. That's it. We're done. All right. All right, let's easy. do another one. How about NF3? NF3. Nitrogen trifluoride. Now, nitrogen is here, and fluorine is here. So, Mr. Sam's five. Nitrogen has five. Fluorine has seven. seven. Okay, so nitrogen so, has five. So, I'm going to write that five here, and this will be seven. Seven but times three. three here, so that means times three. So, that's so uh, 21 plus five, 26. Is 26. Now, that's a lot more than eight. That is. Okay. But... Now, the central atom is almost always, water is one of the exceptions, yeah. actually. You always put the center or The first atom, element. The does, first element is the center atom. Or the one you have one of, generally yeah. speaking. That's a good call. 
So I've got three Fs and an N. Okay. And I've got to spin 26 electrons. Okay, but we need a bond between the nitrogen and each fluorine. Yeah, and usually they branch. Don't I see sometimes where students will do N, F, F, F or something no. like that. Don't do that. Just There's, put the one that's by itself He's in the, the middle. middle dude. So yeah. you'll do it. Now two, four, four six. six. Now, I'm, where do I go? Outside, inside. Outside, inside. I go outside, outside first. first. So I spin six, and this will be eight, eight 10, 10, 12, 12 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay, all the outsides are done, but we have 26. So we have two more, and those go in the central on one. The center. 28, or 26, I mean. There. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, good news, guys. If you really can count, everyone's got eight, eight, eight. Look at this fluorine. Two, four, six, and the bond counts as two more eight. Okay. This nitrogen has two, four, six, eight. All those right. aren't double bonds, those are single ones. Yeah. Hey, by the way, these electrons are called what? Uh, unbonded pairs. Unshared, Unshared pair, I think. It's, yeah, yeah, we're saying the same thing. And right here. In older textbooks, you is, might see them called a lone pair. Yeah, this is a bonded pair. Right. It's a lot of names, but the yeah. bonded pairs are lines. Right. Unshared pairs are dots on the central atom. Or on the outside atoms, too. Yeah. Sure. But the ones you really care about are on the central right. atom. That's exactly. true. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay.